A driverless shuttle could be transporting people around Madison this fall. It is a big project being worked on by University of Wisconsin-Madison engineers, testing how the autonomous vehicles would work in a city like Madison. Amanda Quintana joins us with more on this exciting technology. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Car manufacturers are already preparing for driverless vehicles to take over for things like taxi services and Ubers in the next five years. But how could the city of Madison use an autonomous vehicle for its residents? That's what this project is all about. Remember this shuttle that visited the UW-Madison campus last summer? It's pretty unique since it has no driver. It's coming back and you could take a ride on it to the farmers market this fall for free. It's really just a demonstration project. Anyone can come and ride. John Reel has been working for years to get a big project like this to Madison. So the UW's traffic operations and safety lab could figure out how the city can use it. It's really critical to me that we that we get a vehicle here and we can actually run it ourselves and operate it and collect data and share that with everyone um, so that people know what this autonomous vehicle future is going to look like. Expected to be here this fall, the 15-passenger shuttle will start a one-mile route from the area of Bree Stevens Field to the Capitol Square for about a year or two. Not necessarily a service with set times, but mainly for events and probably taking Main Street since East Washington is a little too fast. The whole time, researchers will be learning from it to plan where we can have other routes down the road. On the UW campus route, for instance, there's another, another good use case for these shuttles is as a first mile, last mile connector route to kind of complement the, the current metro service. The initial cost, about $300,000. A bill American Family Insurance has agreed to pick up, hoping to be part of the conversation before autonomous vehicles go mainstream, figuring out things like who's liable for an accident. While you might look at us, and say, oh, American family might be scared that these autonomous vehicles are going to become a part of the market. Actually, we see it as a, as a great opportunity. We see autonomous vehicles as making the world safer, reducing ultimately the amount of accidents they have and the amounts of lives that are lost. For now, it's all just a trial run until these vehicles of the future become just vehicles. Now, this is all to collect data on whether riders like it or not and how the vehicle uses its mapping, positioning, and camera to get through its route. Of course, safety is a big issue here. I'm told the shuttle will have someone sitting in the driver's seat, and it's proven to be great at stopping for obstacles like bikers or pedestrians. All right, Amanda, thank you. Wild technology. Mm -hmm. we are